Hello everyone, Heinlein here and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we will go through how to do a VFR landing in the Mirage F1. What we are going to do is that we are going to land on Keshim right here. We are going to fly a left upwind at uh, 350 knots at uh, roughly 1500 feet above the ground. And then we are going to uh, throttle back and do a brake turn and uh, hopefully when uh, we uh, arrive to the downwind leg, we will have an approximate speed of 215 uh, knots. And then we will put our gears down and our flaps down. And once we get our runway threshold at roughly 45 degrees, that is uh, uh, around here on our wingtip, then we're going to uh, turn uh, for final. And we're going to aim for an airspeed at roughly 115, uh, I mean 150 knots. And we are going to fly our uh, uh, final at roughly 10 degrees of attitude and once we get over the runway threshold we're going uh, to uh, go throttle uh, we take the throttle back and we're going to raise our nose a little bit to 13 degrees and we're going to try and set down the aircraft and deploy our chute we are quite high so we need to descend so let's uh, throttle back let's deploy our air brakes Oh, by the way, let's uh, uh, quickly show you uh, some key controls here. I have our my flaps right here. And I have my gear right here. And here I have our my air brake controls on my whole test. We are going to use all of this in this tutorial. And while we are descending, we are uh, of course going to uh, turn on our landing lights, like so. This airfield is pretty much at uh, sea level, so we don't really uh, need to compensate anything on our altitude. Okay, we're getting to 350, let's uh, raise our uh, air brake. There we are. Let's get up to 1,600 just for a little bit of margin. Oh, we climbed a little bit there. Right, let's do our brake turn. Let's descending quite a bit. Of course when you're doing a demonstration uh, you never do things correctly. Let's deploy our landing gear and our flaps. Now we climbed a bit when uh, we deployed our flaps. Let's turn our radar, by the way, to standby, so we don't fry the ground crew. It's always better to be a little bit high than a little bit too low, in my opinion. Let's turn for final.
damn good in my opinion. Alright, now we have roughly 10 degrees. That's good. But we're going way too fast, so... Seems like we are quite uh, heavy, so we need to stay a little bit over 150, but that's that doesn't uh, that's not a, that important. We're getting a little bit below the glide path and a little bit too slow, so let's throttle up a little bit. I'm just going to pause for a little second. One thing I just uh, wanted to say is that uh, when uh, you're landing an aircraft, you're doing something quite uh, counterintuitive. You control your speed with uh, your stick and you control your altitude with your throttle. It's a bit counterintuitive and takes a little bit of time to get used to, but that's actually how they teach you in, uh, in flight school. So let's unpause again. Alright, quite good. But roughly 13 degrees. Alright, let's drop back. And touch down. And let's deploy our chute by pulling this one, like so. Flaps up. And let's apply brakes. Let's get rid of our drag chute. Like so. And let's engage our nose wheel steering. And let's get off the runway. So guys, that is how you land the Mirage F1. I know this demonstration wasn't uh, perfect, it never is when you're doing a demonstration. But uh, uh, please leave a comment, uh, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.